Hi everybody, my name is Megan and if you're new to my channel, I like to do um, whipping chats here. This last week I made a huge purchase. As you can see, I got the Diamond Art Club Beach Bounty. I think it's Amy Stewart. Um, yeah, by Amy Stewart. And this arrived in the mail for me last night around 7 o'clock from UPS and I was super, super, super excited about it. Um, this morning I woke up and unboxed it and just looked at it forever on the kitchen table. I am super excited about this diamond painting. So just for um, just for you to know, I bought this second hand from Macari. Um, I did not buy this from Diamond Art Club. This is not sponsored by Diamond Art Club. I bought this with my own money, etc. So this is, um, I guess, what we would consider a genuine review. Um, if you guys are new to my channel or this is just new in general, I'm trying something new today where I'm using my webcam here and then below I have my <laughs> my iPhone is capturing this. I have a little bit of lag. I'm aware. Work in progress. Okay, so um, yeah, let's get into it. So today I got this beautiful, beautiful piece. I think that this came out maybe three weeks ago on the Diamond Art Club website and I feel like it sold out pretty quickly. I initially saw it come up on the site when it was released and I was like, ah, yeah, it's cute, but do I really want to spend $75 on it? Because I think it was $74.99 or something. Let me look on the Diamond Art Club website here. So this is Beachcomber's Bounty for $74.99. Uh, this has 68 colors plus five Aurora Borealis, um, and it's a square. So let me tell you guys what's going on. I am not a square kind of girl. I am a round lady. <laughs> and boy, have we ever got a whole lot of square diamonds here. So I don't know if you guys can give me tips or anything. I just feel like when I use squares... It's the worst. They don't want to line up on my multiplacer correctly. Maybe I need like a metal multiplacer. Do you guys have good tips on that? Because I want to hear them. Um, but yeah, I am very excited. Let me tell you guys the backstory behind me getting this diamond painting because it is very silly. I, like I initially said, I kind of wanted this at the start. Um, I'm on a budget when it comes to diamond painting. If you guys are new to my channel, I've been working on Randall Spangler's Couch Dragon. And I bought that sucker in 2021, 2021, um, around August, and I'm still not finished. I'm getting close to being finished. I am telling myself that before I start working on this, I'm going to finish that Couch Dragon or else it's never going to get done. So I'm kind of a novice diamond painter. I'm not new. I finished several um, like smaller bite-sized pieces from places like Amazon, etc. Um, but overall, I'm new to big projects. I am a ADHD millennial and some of this stuff is just really difficult. So um, just for an introduction to my channel, I started making YouTube videos to hold myself more accountable when it comes to diamond painting and getting all of my stuff done because I thought it would be a fun way for me to talk to you guys and get something done. So it's kind of like reciprocal. I don't know. Either way, I'm really excited to have this. Um, so after it sold out initially on the Diamond Art Club website, I saw it on Macari and I should have never done this. I've realized that you can get Diamond Art Club and diamond paintings on eBay and Macari. Um, I know a lot of us have a problem with kind of impulse buying, especially when something is limited edition. Maybe you're afraid that it won't come back again, etc., etc. So I think a lot of people are reselling their, their diamond paintings. And of course, you know, you don't want to get ripped off. You don't want to get scammed. Um, so you have to be careful of things like that. But this seemed like a fine, reputable seller. Um, apparently the seller only really opened the box for a ticket. I think there was a promotional thing going on a few weeks ago for Diamond Art Club where they put in like golden tickets, kind of like Willy Wonka, and she opened the box just looking for the ticket. 
so anyway, um, it's in new condition to me. It's new to me. I don't mind it. I didn't really get any um, rewards. You know, usually whenever you buy from the Diamond Art Club website, you get rewards that you can use later on for money off or whatever. But like I said, um, this is huge and it's new and it looks fine to me. I think that it looks um, really good. Um, like I said earlier, there are... Let's see, my camera here, she's kind of flipped. So my, my desktop that I'm looking at, this here, down here is flipped. So I may have to like figure out what direction is what, but we have lots of APs. Um, if you guys are new to diamond painting, from what I understand, AB is for Aurora Barrialis. I'm from Arkansas, so this accent is gonna come out sometimes. So we have the AB diamonds, which are like extra sparkly. They have like a little overlay on them, um, but you can see there are some AB diamonds in the, the bottle, etc. Let me show you guys a photo of what the, the complete image looks like, because I know you can only see like 10% here. Um, this is beautiful. I am a summer kind of girl. Like I mentioned, I'm from Arkansas. Um, I'm used to the heat. I don't like winter. Um, I've only really bought two paintings from Diamond Art Club before. I have the Randall Spangler Couch Dragon. And then I have the, I have like another one that's wintry and there's two cardinals and a birdhouse and it was a square and I could not keep up with it. And it was just also, it just wasn't very fun. I don't know how to describe it. Um, but anyway, so I never finished that. And like I mentioned earlier, I am not a square kind of girl. I don't know how I'm going to get this done, y'all. I do not know what I'm going to do. I don't know. Um, but it's beautiful. I think it looks really, really good. Um, you can see like lots of little shells and whatnot in the image. Um, there's like some some fish in the water, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, the ABs are everywhere. So, over here we have the, let's see if I can get this right, the sea foam. So, we have the beaches here, and then our water is over here. Um, the sea foam has lots of little ABs in it. I think a lot of the white um, is going to have our ABs, so it's going to be super shiny. And I am just really excited about this diamond painting. Um, like I mentioned earlier, it's been a year or two since I've really bought anything from Diamond Art Club. So some of these things are new to me. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I was too excited to not take a look. I know a lot of people do unboxing videos and it's like your first look, it's your first impression and you do, ooh, ah, whatever. Um, I already opened the sucker up. Um, so as I said a minute ago, I haven't bought anything from Diamond Art Club in a year or two. So to me, the toolkit, this here let me do my little vanna white show off um this is new to me so when i was diamond painting with these guys a few years ago you got a single placer with a multi-placer attachment at the end with the squeegee you got a boat and you got the suspicious looking little bitty the packages you got some of those um with a square you did get um tweezers a few years ago for sure but a lot of this stuff is new to me um for example the washi tape let me show you guys what this looks like it's beachy it's cute i think it matches the um the aesthetic you know um what else do i have going on here um i think i have a four placer and maybe a seven in here um like i mentioned a second ago we didn't even have stoppers for the trays back then so um this is definitely something new for me it's kind of bougie it's kind of nice you get a little tray with your stopper there you get your operation tweezers <laughs> um these are really sharp and nice i don't think that they were spring loaded before but now they have a spring in them um let us see what else is going on in here. So I have a cover minder. Put that on the back of my hand. It's a little dog with a peach. Um, to me, this is new. I didn't get any cover minders 
in the last few times that I've gotten Diamond Art Club kits from a while ago. I think that they're supposed to maybe have a magnet on the back of them. Um, mine didn't come with a magnet. It's not in the package. I think I kind of just got, um, you know, maybe in production, my magnet fell off. And then we have our little heart tray with the two pads of wax. I think that's really cute. That's again, new to me. I don't think that they were doing that a few years ago. It's really nice. I mean, it's the least that we can do paying $75 for some canvas and glue. But you guys know what I mean. Okay, so everything checks out. Um, I also got my little, I think this is a seven placer I looked earlier. This is actually the second time that I've made this video because the first time the quality on my webcam was not very good. And I think I just downscaled the entire video, but anyway. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any tips on these squares, give me some tips on the squares. Should I be using the tweezers? What are we using the tweezers for? Are people individually tweezing their diamonds on? Is that what's happening? Or is the tweezer for like after you get it settled and you kind of want to go back in and operate a little bit? Um, I have a ton of diamonds. What did this say? It was like 68, 73 um, colors total maybe with five or Borealis, um, which are gonna be so pretty. You can see it just all over the painting. Um, so anyway, we have tons and tons of diamonds. It's a shame that my second camera here isn't fantastic, so everything doesn't look great. But we have a whole bunch of like really vibrant, shiny, beautiful colors, etc. Um, overall, I am really pleased with this. It is huge. Um, I don't really know what else to say about this. I think, you know, there's a lot of diamond painters or you know like youtubers who upload a lot and we do see a lot of people who are being sent um you know like packages from these companies for free just to advertise them so it is kind of important to me to put something out there as someone who is not sponsored to do this i don't have like an affiliate link or anything um just like an honest review like i kind of peeled back the plastic earlier it's sticky you know it's poured glue i feel like diamond art club is kind of like the upper echelon of diamond uh painting kits you know so there's not really a lot to argue with them about quality etc i will say i have been working on the couch dragon i've been uploading a lot of whipping chats but i've been working on it off youtube as well um, I will say that in those old round kits, there is so much crap and debris in the bottom of them. Just like the itty itty bitty diamonds, like the junk, you know what I mean? Or just like little specks of stuff or like a lot of the diamonds had kind of like the concave bottoms. I don't really feel like I see that here where you know you have like little dots on the bottom but like i said it has been a few years since i bought anything from diamond club or diamond art club so um so far i'm really pleased i think that this looks great i think that um it's gonna be a really fun project for me it's honestly probably gonna take me a year to complete but who knows maybe i'll get like a a spur to just finish it off or whatever um also, let me know what you guys think about diamond painting in your back. Because let me tell you, the big, one of the biggest issues that I'm having right now is I could diamond paint all day. However, I have a little bit of scoliosis in my back, just a little bit. But if I'm leaning, my posture isn't great to begin with. But if I'm leaning for hours, that's not good for me. It doesn't make me feel good. Um... So I don't know if you guys are doing the, the easels or if you're doing the drafting tables, kind of like what an architect has that's kind of slanted to one side. Um, but maybe I should just be taking breaks. But um, like I mentioned earlier, I do plan on finishing Couch Dragon 
very very soon so if you guys would be interested in that content be sure to subscribe and of course like a, a like helps very much um but yeah i figure that i'll finish couch dragon maybe this week maybe that's like a high hope you know um and then i will start working on this on youtube very very soon hopefully i will figure out something to get another good webcam going i don't really want to spend like 80 dollars on something that i'm just using for youtube you know so um i am gonna try to figure that out so hopefully soon we will have some really good quality videos this is the first video that i've done for this youtube channel um where i'm using face cam uh, I think it makes things kind of more personable. I think it helps me relate to you guys better and you guys can kind of get to know me and my mannerisms and whatever. Um, so yeah, I hope to see you guys very soon. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Be sure to do something healthy, have some vitamins, drink your water, stay hydrated. It is currently June the 30th here. It is hot. It is 100 degrees outside. So be sure to get in lots of water this summer. And um, yeah, I guess that's it for me. I am looking forward to working on this along with you guys. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And thank you very much.